And so now we come to my very, very favorite way of funding my deals, and that is using private money. So here we are. Wow. In case you haven't heard me say it yet, I'm known as the private money authority. And I've got thousands of students that are now using uh, my strategy and my system on how to fund deals with private money. So first of all, let's define what in the world is private money or who is a private lender. So get this, a private lender is an individual, just like you, just like me, is an individual that loans money from their investment capital or their retirement funds and loans it to us as real estate investors. And so this is a simple one-on-one -on -one transaction between an individual, a person, all right, and us as the real estate investor. So I mentioned in the definition there uh, that who a private lender is, is they can use their retirement funds. So one thing that you're going to definitely want to learn about and network with, and that is self-directed IRAs or a self-directed IRA company. So I'm just going to touch on this just for a quick second. And that is, you know, Carol Joy and I, we now have almost 50 private lenders that fund our deals and loan their money to us. But over half of them are loaning money to us from their retirement funds. And the way that works is when we have a new private lender, we will introduce them to our self-directed IRA company that we're doing business with and referring our new private lenders to. And so this is a vehicle in a way to where an individual, a private lender can transfer their retirement funds to a self-directed IRA, penalty free, tax free. And now once their account is funded, they can loan money to us as the real estate investor. And now they can get unlimited returns per year. There's no cap. Because you see, this way of doing business in the IRA, the self-directed IRA, this is not the same thing as contributions. You know, there's a, there's a cap, there's a limit as to the amount of contributions a person can contribute to their IRA or retirement account every year. In this uh, way of doing business, the private lender, I mean, we've got one private lender now that's making over $65,000 a year just from our investing uh, company tax-free and penalty-free. So the private lender, again, is an individual. Now, why do I love private money? Many reasons. First of all, it's got nothing to do with your credit. So write this down. Private money is a collateral loan, okay? So it's the property that you are buying that is collateralizing the note, all right? So in this world of private money, we're not borrowing unsecured funds. I could, but I don't. We protect our private lenders by giving them a mortgage. Here in North Carolina, it's a deed of trust. Most people call it a mortgage. So that collateral is backing the note, all right? So in doing business with private lenders, your credit's got nothing to do with it. You can have a credit score of 425, which of course is very low. And it's got no, you can get just as much private money as I do. So private money. Another big reason I love private money is I always get 100%, 100% of my purchase price. And if I am going to be rehabbing a house, I'm able to get my rehab money up front as well. Another reason I love private money, there are no personal guarantees. All right. Uh, the, the property itself collateralizes the note. Uh, another big one, and this is so huge, when it comes to private money, you set the rules. I set the rules, not the lender. So what we have is we have a private money, private lending program, all right, that we offer people. So we set the interest rate, not the lender, as it was when we were borrowing money from the banks, but we set the interest rate. We set the term. We set how often the uh, payments are going to be made. Sometimes it's monthly. Sometimes it's quarterly. Sometimes it's semi-annual. So that's a huge 180 degree shift from what it's like to be borrowing money from the banks uh, versus uh, using private money. Another reason, there's no origination fees in this world of private money. There's no extension fees. If I haven't cashed out on the property, and let's say I've got a two-year term from the private lender. Well, if I haven't cashed out, 
the private lender is going to want to extend that note. They don't want the money back. What are they going to do with it? You know, I mean, where can they get the good rates of return that we're paying them? So they will extend the note, but there's no approval process. They'll extend the note and there's no extension fees. So private money, you're in control. And here's another huge reason as to why I love private money. There's no limit to the number of private lenders and the amount of private money that we can get. Okay. When I was borrowing money from the banks. I had a limit to my line of credit. There was a limit to the number of mortgages that I could do. But in this world of private money, unlimited number of private lenders you can do business with. There's no cap. And you can borrow private money across state lines. There's no regulation on who you can borrow private money with. The reason for that is that we are not regulated by the commissioner of banks. We're individuals and we can do business uh, with other private lenders as many as we want to, uh, regardless of where they're from. So that's the highlights right there as to why private money is my favorite reason and my favorite way to fund deals.